This cabinet, uh, I'm not even sure what model it is. Uh, the there's like a, a model panel on the back, but it had been torn off. So it's two 15s because I had the uh, basement with the two 15 cab, and I really like the sound of two 15s. So I was kind of scrolling online looking for a used two 15 cabinet, and this popped up. It has two horns, so I think it's maybe a PA cab. I don't know. But anyway, uh, someone else was selling a pair of them, which makes me think that they're PA cabs. But who knows? Uh, it's big. It's heavy. It's, you know, I don't know, four and a half feet tall or something. It's tall. And uh, big enough that it has two handles on the side recessed in, like, you know, a Marshall cabinet or something. And then two handles on the back recessed in with two wheels so like the uh, Ampeg uh, 810 cabinets you can tilt this back and roll it on built-in wheels uh, not casters built-in wheels like a you know a hand truck or something one of those dealies but anyway uh, so I picked this up what ended up happening is I had the um, Epiphone Dot that I bought and really liked the sound of it but just could not get used to uh, the feel of it because it's not, it's not a Strat. I know where the knobs are and the switches on a Strat, everything about it. I just really couldn't get into it and ended up selling it. So made a little bit of money on that. Went and took a look at this. At the same time, I met some guy to sell it. He wanted to meet halfway because he was a little far away. And uh, I'm going to grab a chair because my feet are starting to hurt from crouching down like that. So I met with the guy, sold the guitar, made a few bucks, uh, not a ton. And uh, like I think like a $25 or $30 profit, something. Uh, Went to pick up this, the guy wanted a uh, hundred, and I took a look at it and he said, well, you know, I'll sell it for 80. I'm like, uh, okay, I'll go for 80. And this speaker here wasn't working. So I said, this speaker isn't working. And he listened and he goes, huh, I could have sworn it was. Uh, so I said, I'll give you 70. And he said, well, let me see if I can get it to work. So he spent like 20 minutes taking the speaker out, checking all the connections. He couldn't get the speaker to work. So he went, ah, okay, fine, 70. So with the like 30 profit into this, so I bought this cab for 40 bucks. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna replace this because it's not working. Um, this horn right here was really buzzy. I don't know if it was broken or if somebody was you know, running too much stuff into it, I don't know. The guy didn't seem to know much about it at all. And so I disconnected that horn. It's still a little bit fizzy. So I think it might be this horn. I think I'll just disconnect this horn and just literally make it a 215 cab. Uh, but anyway, it sounds pretty good with uh, the JCM 800 studio head and a DOD uh, boost in front of it. So.
So, sounds pretty decent. I'm going to, uh, you know, like I said, disconnect the other horn and uh, fire it up with two 15s and see what we got.